Pause. Breathe. And action. <laughs> I've been given full permission. Hello, darling. To poke around who among a Seaver's private life. Jersey, you're so cute. Who many of you may know better as Vinny Cruze. Who was the most trouble, though? Be honest. Um, poor. <laughs> I get full access to his body. There are all legs. His wife. Who is actually the biggest show off I've ever met in my life. And he reveals his darkest moment. I woke up in the morning and I um didn't know what happened. One week to get to know the real poor. Once you go black, you never go black. <laughs> Scary guard dog, aren't you? So there's no time like the first thing on a Sunday morning to meet Pua at his home on Auckland's oh. North Shore. Hello, good Hi. morning. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Thank you for having us. It's alright. So, welcome to our home. Thank you. And this you. is my family. Good morning, everyone. Hi. Hi. Hi, Jasmine. You've met Courtney. And hey. this is my mum from Hello. Samoa. Hello. Lovely Hi, to meet you, Mrs <laughs> Mangaseva. And this is my dog, Alfie. Come here. Alfie! Up. Good boy. So fourth member of the family? Is he, yes, is he that close? Yes, he's considered to be my son. Oh. Nice wheels. You know, I only ride in style. First up on the schedule, a quick trip down to the dairy. We're going to go and get uh, the woman's day. They're printing Paul's wedding photos. It's due out this morning. So the big question, how much did you get? I'm not going to say. Oh, come uh, on. No, I'm not going to say okay. it at all. More or less than 10 grand? I can't say. 10 grand. I reckon it's 10 grand. You reckon? Yep. Could be. <laughs> Could be. All right, big moment. Could you fix it for me? Remember that, that. And he spots it. Oh! Horses! Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. I'm not going to say anything. What do you think? I like it. All right, no looking, no cheating. No cheating? Needs to see. Okay, cool. Go pay. Arriving home with the magazine in hand, I've made hey. sure Pua hasn't seen any of the pictures himself. Wow! Look. Oh. Oh. oh, you look beautiful, Courtney. Thank you. Thank you. You proud, Mum? Yes, I'm very proud. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you must be in post wedding bliss. I'm madly in love. Oh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your favourite thing about him? His positivity. His fun. His, his, his funness. Not even a word. His... What are you? You're just like this amazing, vibrant being. Pua's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> vibrancy is in high demand on the party scene. Courtney has had some years to get used to the attention that Pua receives, but it doesn't mean it's always easy. Do you sometimes get a little bit lost, though, in yeah, the shadow totally. of Pua? Oh my god, I'm totally a shadow. We have so many arguments after, after a night out. Pua's just got girls coming up to him going, can I have a photo, can I have a photo? And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to deal with it. I don't like it, because sometimes I just want my husband or my fiancé back then just to be with me. I want to enjoy the night with him, but you can't. But for Pua, being centre of attention is all part of the package. Do you like the retention at those press things? Do you get a rush from yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you do. And anyone would. I mean, come on, like, people actually, it's people who are appreciating, I guess, what you're good at, you know. And of course you're on TV, so they want to ask you questions, so. You just, you just do it. I just do it naturally. It's 5.30am and I'm meeting Pua for his gym class. Can we just um, start off by discussing how ridiculous this is? No, nah, it's not ridiculous. So this is normal for you? This what time does your uh, alarm normally go off? Uh, five o'clock. And in the spirit of getting to know Pua, I decide to join in. Well, actually, my producer forced me to. It's an all black. I just did the training of an all black. So why do this? I mean, you get up at an ungodly hour. You didn't. You got like three hours sleep last night. Why is it so important to you? Um, I, oh, it, it's good for my mind. Um, if I don't train, say even two days at the most, if I don't train, it, I, I go pretty much nuts. Hey, 
It must be Elvis. That's me. Paul was first cast on Shortland Street back in 1999 when he had a small part playing a guy called Elvis. But you might also remember him from these ads. Good. Ah! His early auditions, however, not so sharp. In the audition process, um, okay, uh, so what's your name? Paul Mungseva, what do you do? Oh, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then they go, okay, so profile. And I thought, okay, this must be a profile about myself. Oh, well, I play rugby for under 16s. And, um, and, and yeah, and they go, no, 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 profile means turn to the turn side. Turn sideways. And I went, shame. Sharpen up. Ah! A few years later, he had the call to play Vinny, a core cast member. And here he is, our new nurse, Vinny Cruz. <clears throat> That's a uh, crusade, not Cruz. I got the call from my agent saying that they wanted me to play the part. And I went, well, do I have to audition for it? And they go, no, 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 they want to offer it to you. So I was like, whoa, this is, um, you know, New Zealand's top television program. And, you know, then I was kind of like, wow, it's, I'm actually going to be out there a little bit more. I was, I was really, really excited. Back then, how did you deal with the fame? Um, at first, I, I loved the attention because um, I was single. I was single, I was quite young, and, you know, you, you, you got all this money that you get given to you, and I was like, wow, I loved it. And so I, I lived it up, you know, partied lots, was out all the time, wasn't very disciplined um, in regards to work. But I was just a young guy who, who had money, who wanted to have a good time. So that's what I did. When you look back on those times now, what do you think? I actually want to go back to that old poor and smack him across the head and say, look, you're going to waste your life if you carry on like this. Poor left the show believing bigger and better things awaited him. But he was wrong. Because I decided I wanted to leave because I thought, man, I think I'm good enough to be in Hollywood. It was the total opposite. I had to go back because I had no qualifications from school. I had to go back to um, to working odd jobs. But coming from up there to down here and then having people go, oh, I used to be on Shortland Street, what's happened to you now? And it was hard. And um, really it was challenging for me to deal with and um, started getting like um, like anger problems. And what was your lowest point? Um, I got really, um, I got really drunk at one stage, and I completely lost it. I completely lost it um, at home, and um, I started like wrecking stuff in my house, and you know, making a mess of it, and swearing, and and um, you know, just I, I completely banked out. Who was there? Courtney. What do we do when it's hot? We're blowing it. Courtney blowing. supported Poor during these difficult times. What about a carrot? She was a rock for him, helping him get his life back on track. I don't know one person that hasn't had downtime in their life, so I wouldn't just get up and leave because he's having a rough time. She's just always supported me 100% throughout our whole relationship. And I guess that's what I needed. I needed someone to be there because I don't think I could have done it by myself. Yummy. Um, yeah. And if there was any reason to get your act together, it would be the arrival of this little treasure called Jasmine. What was that like for you? Oh. It's one of the most happiest moments of my whole life. Everything that I do um, will be for her. I will do anything for her. <laughs> I would give up. I would give up everything for her. Just my everything. Another major step for Pua was his training as a fitness instructor. His first qualification, something to fall back on should his acting work dry up. What's the score tonight? About 7-2.
This evening, he's invited me along to see the touch rugby team he plays in. How's your injury down there? Is it all right? Hanging in there. Considering he's an ex-NZ rep, I'm expecting a top-notch team. We've lost every game so far this year. What's your win rate? I think one out of about six. And how did he come to be in your team, Poor? Um, one of our friends who used to be in the team, he's married to their daughter. Trying to impress the in-laws, eh? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Three cheers for awesome. The other guys. Hoop, 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 Space. Me and Robbie are just trying to start the Manga Sivas. You know how they got the Kardashians? Yeah. We're just trying to start the Which one of you has the fat ass? Pua looks a lot like this guy, Robbie, who's also on Shorten Street. Have you seen the great years? Yeah, bro. What's the... And it's no surprise to many of you that they are brothers. Same family, same job, same promotional circuit. Can I just say one thing? I was late and I'm commando. I swear. Wow. Ladies are going to love this one. I mean, he is the big brother, but he kind of hogs the limelight a bit too, doesn't he? Well, when he speaks, he doesn't stop, so I kind of just hold back and just go, oh, I'll let you do your thing. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm not there to compete. I'm not there to compete against my brother. But as it happens, they are competing. They're both up for sexiest male in this year's TV Guide Awards. Hey! Today, they're doing radio promotion. PR for Shortland Street is all part of their contract. Yeah, our contracts always have the, the clause must take top off. Three, go! <laughs> Woo! What's that whole sexy male thing? Yep. Do you find it weird? Yeah, it is. It is. It's really weird. It's kind of like they're putting a statement on you, and it's like people will kind of automatically think, oh, look at this guy, thinks he's a sexy dude. I didn't ask for it. I didn't go, I want to be the sexiest guy. They just think that's what we are, so. But I'll take it. Yeah, but I'll take it on the, I'll take it on the chair. <laughs> Say what? Are you and Max all back together? So after a one week window into Poor's world, we'll go to the top. I can say I feel I've got an interesting insight into one of our leading men. Go. And also into the world of acting yeah. in New Zealand. So with your fame, you'd think pimping car, flash house, rolling in cash. What's the reality? You know, we don't get paid enough to live like the lifestyle. You know, like like look at my car. I got a Suzuki. I got a little Suzuki Ignis that I call Superman. It's a 1.3 liter, <laughs> but it's got good Ks. You know, it's cheap. Yes, it is. It's cheap. My house is not like the greatest house in the universe. It's not like this mansion. It's my home, the way I like it. Now it's all about what's good enough for my family. Good girl. So now all I want to do is work hard so that we don't have to struggle and Jasmine doesn't have to struggle. Or our next kid, who I want to call Bruce Lee. <laughs>